Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the show. Okay. Um, this is uh, the first uh, first issue of Justice League versus uh, Godzilla versus Kong, which I showed last time. That's going to be the opening theme, I think, for maybe one more show. Um, here's the website on YouTube. Celebrating over 30 years, and I made the announcement the last show. I got really sick. Uh, if you notice, I'm a little bit bloated over here. I'm going to uh, get some a major dental work done. So if some words are not coming out clear, it's because my teeth are really messed up. And basically, they're going to start a procedure where I'm going to be getting my teeth replaced. Uh, it's gotten that bad. So I try to talk slowly and clearly, so bear with me. Uh, if some of the words come out a little bit clunky, now you know why. But celebrating over 30 years. Well, let me put this comment down. Okay. Um, we started over 30 years ago, and it was known as Reading Line Express TV. This is before YouTube, before streaming, before everything that's going on with Amazon and uh, Disney Plus and all these other things. Uh, Warner Brothers might join up with Paramount Plus. Um, I mean, it, it's, oh man, it's like the Wild Wild West, you know? Uh, everybody's trying to uh, grab a piece of the action and stuff like that. Me, I'm trying to survive to July. We got officially renewed. We're going to complete 35 years this summer. Uh, so, unfortunately, I couldn't do a new show because my, uh, my face was really bloated. Oh, 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 it looked off. It looked like I went through 10 rounds with Rocky Balboa. And so I couldn't tape anything. So, got the medication uh, swollen down. So, this particular show, 25-minute show, is for uh, Manhattan Neighborhood Network, the mothership, that have done... Uh, the show for the longest okay so uh tonight Godzilla got a couple of things here to show you okay a couple of things here uh Star Trek news Star Wars news and of course the awards which I'm gonna leave for last because nobody really cares um I'm gonna wait for the announcement of the official Oscar nominated films I'm gonna announce my top five of the year and uh believe it or not there's only one film that has been nominated for Golden Globes and um, and uh, the Critics' Choice Awards. Uh, this show is being taped uh, in January. Um, Got to look at the calendar date, the 13th. The Critics' Choice Awards will be the 14th. And I, I tell you, there's also another one, the SAG Awards and the uh, PGA Awards, Producers Awards. And uh, you'll, you'll see a, a pattern. And... Lily Gladstone, if she wins for, for Best Actress in these, uh, before the Oscar the nominations, you know she's going to uh, get the nomination for the Oscar and probably win it. Um, Christopher Nolan looks like going to be director. Best Picture is between Oppenheimer and Killers of the Flower Moon. And I think Robert Downey Jr. is going to get the Best Oscar. But now, for Best Supporting Actor, now for Best Oscar uh, Actor, hmm, that's interesting. We'll go over that later, okay? So this is just a catch-up. Uh, so I'm picking up some things where I left off in the last show, and in two weeks, I'm going to be taping a new show. Um, unfortunately, this show doesn't go on until the next Saturday. I have to do this uh, like a week ahead of time, but there will be follow-ups. Uh, like the Curtis Choice Awards is going to be tomorrow on a Sunday. This show will premiere next Saturday, Matt the Neighbor Network, but I'm going to put this show on in a couple of days on YouTube. That's going to be the customer. So if you don't want to wait for you New Yorkers and, uh, and Manhattan Neighbor Network fans, if you don't want to wait till the next Saturday, I'll be posting this on Monday. And then that show, and Manhattan Neighbor Network, will go on Saturday. So I'm taping this this Saturday. I'm going to post it on Monday. And then the next Saturday. Hopefully I made that clear. But anyway. And we're going to go over this site next time also. Uh, because I got to get doing a lot of catch up. But let's show... Um, I did this here about Godzilla, so let's start off with that, okay? Because a lot of Godzilla news, and that's basically my favorite topic. Now, I did say last time, are you going to do like little mini segments? Yeah, the, the, the Best of Shower, uh, that's uh, with the original King Ghidorah, or if it was traditionally released in the U.S. as King Ghidra. So if you hear me say King Ghidra, it's because that's what I was raised on. Uh, and the first picture I ever saw of Godzilla was Godzilla versus this, uh, no, not the sea monster, Godzilla versus the smog monster, 
my mother took me when I was a little, a uh, little teeny weeny little kid. Anyway, uh, so that's why I got a special thing for that. Uh, and then we're gonna have the um, the Hensai series because there was a muscle that had a uh, cousin, sister, brother, Batara. So they had two butterflies in there. And then um, the next series that had that featured the dragonfly. And there's another series now, the right size series. I'm saying that wrong. I'm a Godzilla fan. I should know this stuff. But anyway, um, and that includes uh, Godzilla 2014 and everything after that. Okay, so now there's four generations. I'm going to start with first generation, talk about each one. Um, I, I couldn't pop it up. I'm doing this in an old laptop. This is going to be the last show using this laptop. I'm going to have brand new background, brand new laptop, uh, because some sites that cannot reach, believe it or not. I'm lucky I got these sites up. It's some, the laptop is dying. I, like, I'm looking at like half a screen here at home, and uh, the thing is just dying out. Okay, so this laptop is on its way out. But I figure let me do squeeze in one more show because I got these, link, these particular links up. So last time we left off, um... This fan art, okay. Godzilla minus one beats Shin Godzilla. Uh, let me get this out of the way. My favorite picture of the year. There. <clears throat> but not even no Oscar. Don't need an Oscar. <laughs> Don't need a, a pic, picture, not. But we got to find out. Uh, the Critic Choice Awards did nominate for Best Special Effects. Now we got to find out if the Oscars are going to nominate Godzilla uh, for Best Special Effects. Uh, we're going to have to wait another week. But it is in the running in Critics Affair. I, I, uh, I posted that last time in the last show. Uh, but it's beating Shin Godzilla. It already has beaten Shin Godzilla. It's the most popular Godzilla movie uh, in Japan, at least. Okay. Um, and then, of course, uh, it was also announced. I see it in the bottom here. This is a great site, by the way. Okay. It's Godzilla slash movies. Actually, dash. That's a dash. Uh-huh. Um, where is it? It's so, somewhere over around here somewhere. Um, oh, it also got nominated for six Machine Manichi Film Awards. Okay, so yeah, it's, the picture is getting noticed. It's getting, getting uh, nom nom nominated in different uh, regions on the planet. Okay, um, now everybody was talking about this here. One more time, I've mentioned it before. It's just a, a version to sell new toys. Believe it or not, uh, I got to show you two things. Uh, let me do this here first. Okay, this is a little Yoda. I'm going to be talking about him later. Over here. Now, Funko Pops. I just saw this. Somebody emailed me. Hey, Frank, do you, you see this? A pink Godzilla. Pink. Okay. Uh, so a limited edition. Pop-ups. Funko Pops. Yeah. Okay. This is a little Godzilla. I leave it in the box because I'm afraid of, you know, get dirty but let me pull out the Godzilla here though let me pop him out also King Kong glow in the dark Godzilla glow in the dark these got re-released last year I grew up with this 30 40 over 40 years ago and they got discontinued the company is called uh, Atlantic models Atlantis models they're coming up uh, this used to be a, a Aurora Plastics uh, model. Okay, let me show you this here. What the hell? Nobody would. I timed it to a, uh, you know, ten, five minutes here, five minutes there. I don't think anybody wants to want to see this instead of talking about the damn award show. So, okay, let me do that. This is the black pieces, and this is the glowing dark pieces over here. You see that? Yeah. These got continued. And the only time you can find these here... In somebody's basement and they were selling for five hundred dollars a kit these were available for about ten to fifteen dollars in my in my day which was kind of kind of expensive but um and of course the guys i'm gonna show you that that one so atlantis found the models just for the 65th anniversary celebration you see that over there in the corner yeah I'm talking to us fellow old farts. Anybody who's over 50 years old knows what I'm talking about. These kids were, were like $10, $15. was very expensive back in, in the 70s. And Aurora was the company that used to make them. And they went out of business. They found them all in the re-release. These, uh, these were like $30 a pop. I think you can find them on Amazon. 
factories that discontinued Atlantis. Uh, they're coming up with uh, Aurora, um, um, the prehistoric scenes. Does anybody remember that? There's the saber tooth tiger and the cave bear. And they had the caveman, they had the, the swamp scene. And okay, if you're an old frog like me, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, um, so it's good to see these things here now. Um, and of course, that's a little Godzilla over here. Um, this I was not planning to do, but since I'm here, yeah, that's the little Godzilla, yeah, Funko Pops. Okay, they came out with a pink one, limited edition. Yeah, I gotta go pick that up. <laughs> because people say, well, that's kind of weird. You know, because it, it does say on one of these here how, um, let me click on this article, Let's see if it pops up. I've been having a problem with that. Because uh, uh, he could change a different color. Because the more power he gets, the different colors he, he can create. Okay. Um, let me see if this is taking time to pop up. Okay. See, here's another uh, 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 creature. This is the, the Shimo. And the Shimo has a, a, a different look to it. This thing does not want to pop up. Okay. Failure. But, okay, let me go back over here. This is Toho. Official Toho store in the box. This was released in 2004. It says right on the top, trademark and copyright 2004. I'm labeling over here. I don't know if you can see it, probably not. And it's 2004. This is an actual Toho product. And look at, look at the, okay, reflection. Sorry about that. Let me give it. You notice the, the color hue? It's like a sea green, aqua, aquamarine color. So they release all, dev, all different kind of colors now. It doesn't really really matter. They said, oh, well, he changes his atomic breath, um, you know, because he's more powerful. So it's going to give him a pink hue. Again, it's just selling the damn toys <laughs> or action figures, okay? More the better. What the hell? Um, the other thing is, that, okay, we're gonna, let me finish this up. Um, they're going to re-release uh, Godzilla minus one uh, in black and white. It, the, uh, the director said he's going to re remaster it to have, create different shades. I mean, he said, well, you know, I can just do the black and white on my TV with, with the remote, right? No, actually going back to the original negative and changed the different hues corresponding to the big atomic breath and all that. Uh, hopefully that will be on Blu-ray slash 4K. Have the original Japanese, no dubbing, thank God. I grew up with uh, with the dubbing, and then later realized that uh, they re-released them with the Jap original Japanese thing. I'm going to be. I mentioned this before. This uh, uh, the classic media uh, edition, okay, uh, and original uncut, and had the original Japanese dialogue. Makes a big difference okay if you want to translate it to american it's like it sounds like everybody's overacting if japanese train like they they actually uh, overact just to emphasize the dialogue okay but when it gets to translate everybody looks like fools I was, you know it's a shame but anyway but black and white he said he's taking time for i i, mean, I like to call it um uh godzilla minus two now he's really mad and then godzilla minus three he goes ape shit. <laughs> These are the jokes, folks. Okay, uh, yeah. And then, of course, for the Empire, they say the Mothra is going to show up. Okay, Monarch. I don't have the, uh, the poster with me, but um, you know what I'm talking about, Kurt Russell, the last episode. Uh, you haven't seen it? There's, uh, look, um, somebody on YouTube posted all the best scenes of the Monarch t TV series. That was done on, on Apple. If you haven't seen it, don't worry about it. Uh, it's on, uh, what you call it? Uh, Godzilla and a little surprise cameo at the very end. One of the guys I was talking about. Uh, he shows up at the very end. And altogether, it's four and a half minutes. Can you believe that? Ten episodes, four and a half minutes. Now, if you, if you go to IMDB, Internet Movie Database, uh, the thing there is that it says uh, um, the whole cast. 2023 slash 2024 hasn't 
they had, nobody's been signed up for the, for the season number two. Even though it does mention uh, Apex, guys who created Mega Godzilla. They, um, well, I'm not going to tell you the plot. If you want to know about individual plots, it's an apple. There's two or three guys that actually, did, uh, uh, they're like maybe 8, 10, 12 minutes each, and they explain the whole plot for each episode. And one guy put, uh, one person should I say, I'm sorry. Uh, they, they, to put all the clips together is four and a half minutes out of ten episodes. They got to up it. Make it eight episodes, have four episodes in Godzilla fights a Titan, and then have the next four episodes take a break, and then have the next four episodes, and then have a big uh, fight. Okay, um, a big clashing moment. Uh, same thing like Chucky. Have you anybody seen uh, Chucky Howard movies? The, the TV show is great. They bring they brought back um, um, the Bride of Chucky, uh, Jennifer Tilly, and she has a voodoo doll. And she inf infects one of the people in the prison, basically one of the cooks. And she goes to town. The, the cook takes a knife and starts that stabbing stuff. She puts her head in the boil. And that's a whole mayhem. And that was the fourth episode. And they took a break. And now it's springtime. The next four episodes are going to come out. They should do that with Godzilla. Do for se uh, season number two, do four episodes, take a break, four episodes. Now, on this one, he finally fights that bird in the first episode. He fights it at the end. You saw the other commercial. Okay. Uh, but the, the episode before that, what comes out of the water, or uh, no, actually out of the snow, Kuroto throws a, um, you know, like a stick of dynamite, something out of, like, out of the thing, remember that? And a, a creature shows up, it looked like Angiris, uh, his friend foe from the second black and white movie, Godzilla, back in the 50s. Okay, real quick, uh, I got to get to Star Trek. Um, it, I got this, I got to uh, recommend one movie. Okay. Uh, this was uh, Quentin Tarantino. I mentioned his name for a reason. He wrote and directed Death Proof with Kurt Russell as the bad guy. And who's in it? Okay, let me think. Da -da -da -da. Uh, okay, remember Thanksgiving movie that, that showed up in the, this past uh, uh, Thanksgiving in November? Okay, that was Eli Roth. That was part of the trailer. Um... Oh, what is it? I thought it had a clip. Oh, no, 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 no. That said, uh, uh, Asuka, Rosaria Dawson. Yeah, uh, Kudlos is a bad guy. He likes to smash his automobile into other incoming automobiles somehow he lives. The girls decide to get revenge because one of the girls got killed, and they go after Kurt Russell. him playing a bad guy. It's called Death Proof. It's streaming all over the place, okay? That's my little salute to uh, Kurt Russell. Now, let's get into the next thing. Uh, oops. Somebody lost a gig. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, one of the critics have you put top 10. Uh, never saw the clone uh, Tyrone. Spider-Man. Nah, didn't make it. Sorry. But real quick. Um, da -da -da -da. I got these all out of shape. Okay. Star Trek. This is a really long story. I'm going to make it sh short. There are two camps in Paramount. Um, J.J. Abrahams, he's gonna, he wants to make two movies because his contract is running up. And he said, listen, you had years, we paid you, you didn't deliver. The contract is going to end seven, uh, seven months. You better start producing something or the contract is good and we're not going to even sign you. They want to, basically, they want to get rid of him. Uh, are we going to get South Trek 4 with Pike? Um, with Christopher Pike as a, as a Captain Kirk? And they're going to do an origin. I say nix it. Concentrate on the TV show. Now, what's going to happen is, boom, Patrick Stewart. He said it in the book. There is going to be a Picard. He mentioned it. Uh, let me uh, I'll say this real quick. Okay. Um, he said that um, near, near the end of the book, he says, that is for uh, John Luke Picard. Most probably, but never say never. I'm gently pushing Paramount to let us do one single Picard movie. I discussed it with Jonathan, Brent, and Levar, and their old game, and Jonathan is my first choice to direct it. So he said it in this book already. And apparently it's in the cards. Cool. Um, but you got to include everybody. I mean, don't do like the first two movies, which sucked. The, the first two seasons of Picard. And you got to get Terry Brentalis. Now, unfortunately, the Mature Yo is a movie, um, Stage 31 or whatever the fuck you call it. I'm not even looking forward to that. Nobody's asking for that. But they're going to do that direct for Paramount Plus. And then the Picard. That's guaranteed. 
and then hopefully we'll get around to the legacy. Everybody wants Star Trek legacy. And why I'm mentioning that? Now you're, you're staring at this picture. It looks like Star Trek. It ain't. Okay. The show is called Black Mirror. I believe that's on Netflix. So it's, uh, Google it. Netflix. It's called Black Mirror. Season 4. Season 4. Episode 1. This guy's a, a computer programmer. And he gets all of his employees an, an online game. And he's a real prick. And this little cutie pie she takes over. I forgot her name. But it's uh, directed by Toby Haynes, and he is up uh, to direct um, one of the Star Trek projects. And if they can get him to do this, it would be fantastic. This is a great show, as a matter of fact. Um, okay, it got nominations for the Hugo, Saturn, and BAFTA Awards, and it's at 95% Rotten Tomatoes. The episode called The USS Callister. Can you see that over here? I've got my little... Am I can, can I highlight this? Let me see. Yeah. Episode season four, episode one, the USS Callister is a video game. They're, tra they're actually in the trapped inside a video game and they try to outsmart this guy because he's a real big bully. And um, so it's an alternate, uh, alternate uh, uh, reality universe in this computer game. Uh, it's an, like an hour and 15 minutes, it's like almost like a little mini movie. I definitely recommend this. Uh, if you don't have to use streaming, uh, you know, bribe a friend, bring a piece of pie and tell him, hey, can you hook, the, hook me up with this episode? Season four, episode one, USS Callister. And kick this little cutie pie. She's adorable, but the whole cast is really good. Uh, yeah. And I mentioned Quentin Tarantino. Remember, he wrote a script and then it didn't uh, deliver it. Well, there's cursing left and right in this movie. <laughs> you know, make it so engaged, Epica. She she got one she got two quips in here we read, both read it all lines I'm not gonna say it well one of those like uh, get us just get us the fuck out of here uh that's one of the lines but the last line is it's it's a keeper um because they do manage to escape okay so that's why I wanted to show you luckily I found this article that just shows this picture okay he's uh the uh, the captain jerk and she's the cutie pie okay uh, this is the head of the the firmware. And you, you figure he'd be the bad guy. No, he's the poor guy. Well, something happens in the episode. Uh, okay. Next. Um, okay. Mandalorian. John Favio. It's my little representation. You got something to say, little guy? That's it? And what else? So you like John Favio directing, huh? Yeah. Okay. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even change the batteries. This thing keeps on going. Jeez. But anyway, um, John Favre doing the Mandalorian. You're going to do four episodes, and then the last two episodes are going to be released as a movie. Bad idea. Okay. That's what I mean. I don't, Disney does not know what it's doing. And it's still talking about making Ray a trilogy. Screw all that. Boycott Disney. That's all I can say. That's what I'm doing. I'm. I had Disney Plus for a couple months last year. I liked it a lot. I really did. The politics, no, no, no. You entertain me. You don't give me bullshit. You don't try to change my mind. No Jedi tricks on this one, okay? You do not tell me I like Disney Plus. You will not tell me to subscribe, okay? I will not put up with the bullshit, okay? That's my message to Disney Plus. Screw them. And I just love the idea. Have you seen the artwork? I couldn't show it because I would get a red flag on YouTube. I'm going to do little mini episodes. I'm going to try to stick that image. It's a dirty rat Mickey of Steamboat Willie. That version of Mickey because he's got that little tap hat. And he's got a butcher knife in his hand. And he's writing the Staten Island Ferry. It was in Variety Magazine if you can look at it, look that up. I'm trying to bring it into little mini episodes that I'm going to show on YouTube. I forget to mention that at the beginning. I'm also going to do that. Like I said, I couldn't do it because what's going on um with the mouth but i'm gonna do that now let me see how many, many okay 24 minutes okay boom let's see uh oppenheimer winner uh it should have been barbie where'd she go where'd she go where'd you go as the film awards barbie wins eight awards okay i'm gonna leave this here i'm gonna be uh um well, i rather be talking about star trek and star Wars and godzilla instead of this uh i'm Oppenheimer is not, it's not even my top 10. I'm sorry. 
Give Nolan his fucking award so he can shut the hell up. He's begging for that shit. Give it to him and then tell him to go away. Thank you for not making James Bond. They turned him down. You heard about that. Christopher Nolan, he wanted to uh, direct. He wanted to write it. He wanted to, who's going to be the villain. Who's going to be his pick as James Bond. And Barbara Broccoli, daughter of Albert Broccoli, who, who, who produced all the original movies, starting with Sean Connery. Basically, they told him, take a hike. You know, because he wanted to take over the franchise. And this guy is more of a businessman, more of a director, folks, okay? He came out with a whole three-hour behind-the-scenes open hammer. Are you kidding me? It's my guy who rented the bomb, for crying out loud. Uh, yeah, I'll, I give it to Barbie. Sorry, okay? Um, but there's a film. I forget the review. Um, I'm, I'm right in the middle of Jack Reacher. Um, a Netflix, uh, the, um, what's the name, Hard, the comedian Hard, uh, about the airplane. Um, I'll be checking that out. I still got to do Echo. Uh, so the first episode has promises, even though I heard it went downhill uh, for the last two episodes. Okay. Um, which is the one I want to show you here? So can I bring this up? Is this the one? Oh, Doctor Who, real quick. Uh, the new Doctor and um, his sidekick. Uh, the contract is up in two years. They, they went out already. Yeah, the black doctor who he he wants out. That's it. He doesn't even want to do this shit no more. Okay. Uh, one good thing, Selena. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna end the show right here. Um, Bobby should have won musical comedy at the Golden Globes. They gave it to Poor Things. Horrible movie. I gave it a one, only for Mark Ruffalo's performance. Okay. And there's a scene you see in the, in the trailer. She's sitting in the balcony and he's going, ah, that's from a, uh, a streetcar a street car named Desire with Marlon Brando back in the 50s. Okay, that's what that's from. And nobody picked that up. That's like the funniest scene for me and nobody was laughing. Go figure. It was not funny. It's morbid. It's dark, depressing. Poor thing's one of the worst pictures of the year. Taylor Swift should have won outstanding uh, box office. But they gave it to Barbie instead. So they screwed up. Taylor should have won for a standing um, box office of the year. Taylor, best com musical comedy should have been. I'm losing it. Um, Selena should have gotten it for Murders in the Building. Good thing is they're picking her for the dual the biography of Linda Ronstadt. Okay, I think that's perfect because she's also Latina. Linda Ronson was Mexican, a lot of people didn't realize. Mexican roots, okay? And it, it, she sang in Spanish. Selena is a singer, a great singer, a great actor. This, um, this is going to be her Golden Globe, folks. I'm, I'm saying it right now. This is going to be her Golden Globe, at least a nomination. Right, right, the right writer, director does it justice. Selena, mwah. You're going you're gonna to get that Golden Globe Award. Okay. Um, that's it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm for Barbie. That's my, that's my top five, believe it or not. I think you know Godzilla and, of course, John Wick. So much for the top five. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm out of here. Okay. Uh, I'm on Instagram. I'm on SoundCloud. I'm on TikTok. I'm showing my Lego stuff. Oh, I got no Lego. I did have a Lego here. Okay. I'm a big Lego fan. I build these, I take pictures, I put them on TikTok. Yay! Vin Diesel was accused. Uh-oh, what's going to happen in the Fast 11? Get that done, folks. Okay. Uh, Instagram, TikTok. And a, and a bunch of other ones. I cover that next time. I'm going to waste my time. Everybody, um, my time is up. Thank you for watching. Um, like, subscribe on YouTube. And don't forget to uh, put that uh, notification bell, okay? So you know when I do these little mini things, they're going to go up in the air. Uh, I mean, they're going to go up on uh, YouTube. You know what I mean. Anyway, thanks for everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Uh, there'll be more Godzilla talk, okay? And make sure you tune into YouTube. Uh, I'm going to start doing those little mini things before I get that major operation done. Okay. Um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. And may the force be with you. <laughs> I'm such a stinker.